Hello everyone and welcome to this special one-off episode. Um, yes, we're back at the inventory system and the reason why we're back here is because there was an issue um, that was brought to my attention by one of my top patrons, um, Simon. Thank you, Simon, for bringing this to my attention. And um, we, I fixed it for him and I thought it'd be a good idea to share the fix for all of you so you all uh, know how to get this working. So... Uh, and I, I'm checking through the comments on this. It's quite an old video. This is about the, one of the first series I've done. And uh, there seems to be quite a lot of comments I've seen floating about where people have packaged their game and found that it doesn't work. Um, well, today we're going to go through the fix for that. And fortunately, it's a very easy, very quick fix. So let's just go through that then. And again, thank you for Simon for bringing this to, a, to our attention. So the issue is, is that when you... When go to add an item to your inventory, when it's packaged, it doesn't go into your inventory, it just disappears. So the issue is inside of the create stack function. Okay, so the create stack function, the issue that breaks down is in this set of element. And by default, I think it's set something like um, something like this. Okay, I think you've got something like that, and you've got a make. Okay, so you've got something like that set up currently. Okay, now this is an issue because this is just a funny way of how s structures work and how arrays of structures work. And and the reason why it works in the editor versus when it's packaged, I think, come, I think I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think it comes down to um, how that it uses a different compiler. So um, when it's compiled at, uh, at package time, this is resolved differently and in my years of doing this i've learned better of my ways i know that this is a very bad thing to do okay so let's fix this solution so what is this actually trying to achieve this is actually just saying find the empty slot to put the content in well let's just get rid of that and let's see if we can actually make the slot more um direct so the slot we're going to do um i just realized i deleted one there you go the slot we actually want to do is found up here. So we've got a for each loop with it, with the break and it's looking for an empty slot. It finds one and then goes to break it. What we want to do is when it finds one, we want to store which index that empty one was in. So if we array index here, we're going to drag this out and then promote that to a local variable. And I'm going to call this one identified index. And we're just going to put it at the end here after my set boolean, like so. Okay, so that's all I had to do there. And then when it comes to the end, when I set the array element, I just use that integer as my index. So what it's doing is saying, use the index that we found earlier that is empty. And that will fix your packaging problem. So when you package a game, you'll find that it now works. Um, and that's it. Okay, so thank you again, Simon, for highlighting this to me and getting me to go re-download this and re return to this old series. Um, I'll probably will do a couple more videos in this series, um, as I have seen there's quite a few requests for it. For various things like removing from uh, and transferring items for one uh, for your own inventory into a chest, for example. So I thought we would go through that as well um, afterwards. So thank you again, everyone. And if you want to support me on Patreon, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey where you can donate just one dollar and you get access to all these videos before anyone else and uh, as well as many other benefits as well. So thank you again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.